Hello, previously I've created uh, a video on how to call a function from script using uh, a button on a click event and I'll put the link in the description but in this video uh, in case you need to use a pointer event this video will show how to call a function from script using the pointer event so to demonstrate that I will create a button it's UI element under the canvas and it will be button text mesh pro and we'll call it pointer button then uh, under the canvas we create an empty object create empty and that would act later uh, for, as a parent for a, a group we we'll call that pointer pop-up and inside it we'll create a UI element as a panel and we'll call that point pointer panel and uh, we'll ch change its background to none and its color to blue and um, it's uh, it's anchor to middle and width to 500 or 600 maybe and the height to 400 yeah, that sounds good. Uh, we'll change the transparency to none. And um, uh, 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 as well, I will create a text under the same group called, um, so it's UI text mesh pro, call it pointer text. And um, inside we'll uh, will say pointer button is invoked okay and uh, we'll change the uh, font size to 20 and the vertex color to maybe white is good and the uh, alignment will change it to center okay and maybe increase the width a bit okay that sounds all right well this looks all right uh, okay and uh, before I forget I'll need to move the button to a place where we can see it so i'll change the anchor to top left and the pivot to zero on the x one on the y and the x to 15 and the y to minus 55 okay and then we'll change the text of the button to uh, pointer button and I'll change the font size to 18 and uh, we'll change the vertex color to white because we're going to change the background color to blue so if I go back to the button I'll change the color to blue okay Okay, so that seems fine. And uh, while we're here, I'll select the pointer pop-up group and make it inactive. Okay, so now we'll create a new script, C# -sharp script, and we'll call it pop-up. or maybe we'll call it pointer. 
and I will assign that. Sorry, I double clicked on it. I will assign the new script to the uh, button that we created, the pointer button. Okay, just click on it, make sure the script is assigned. There it is. Okay, so now double click on it to open it. And now we create uh, a public uh, variable or object. It's game object type and we'll call it pointer pop up. And I'll save, go back to the editor and we'll see if we go to the button to pointer button to which we assign the pointer script and we go to the script now we see a new public uh, variable or object called pointer pop-up to which we will assign the pop-up group we created so i'll just drag it here there is it it's assigned now and i'll save Go back to my script, it's called pointer, and over here, because we gonna use the event, uh, the, the pointer event, we'll need to use a new namespace, uh, name so I'll do using unity unity engine. What's going on? Using Unity Engine dot event systems, and over here uh, and uh, um, uh, next to mono behavior, we, because we want to use pointer down handler, so I'll do i pointer down handler. There it is. And so now we'll create a new method. It's public void on pointer down, call it. And it takes a default uh, argument, which is of type pointer event data, and we'll call it event data. And there uh, we'll have the object, the pointer pop-up group that we have it assigned. It's public, and pointer pop-up, and we'll set its active status to true, and we'll save. What that will do is. Uh, because the pop-up, uh, the pointer pop-up group uh, status is inactive, but once we click the pointer, uh, in other words, oh, sorry, once we click the button, that will trigger the pointer down handler. And once it's triggered, it will set the active status of that group to true and make it visible. Okay, so now we'll save. Let's te test if that is uh, working. I'll hit play. And once I click pointer button, we'll see the uh, the group is visible now. That means the event is the pointer uh, event is working. So this is how you can call a function from script using a pointer event in Unity.